Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a 3D effect in a cell. So for example, we have this 3D effect where this looks like it's a raise button, but it's basically just a cell and some display of the formatting. This other one here looks like the button is pressed down. There's a 3D effect where it looks like it's pressed down. And in addition, if we don't want it in gray, we can have it in blue. And if we wanted to kind of format tables with this 3D effect, basically you can save it as a style and then apply it. So let's say I want my headers here applied for this 3D up effect. I can go ahead and go into cell styles and click on this custom style that I have and now it's a 3D effect that is raised up for the header here. Now I didn't want the gray, I wanted the blue. I can click on select these range, this range here and then go ahead and go into cell styles and click on that blue. So I'll show you how to create this effect, uh, the, the up style and the down style. So let's go into a new worksheet to do that. So here I'm in a new workbook and I'm going to go ahead and create the 3D up effect first. Let me go ahead and click into this cell. You can click any cell, but what we want to do is when we click in that cell, we want to format it. So I'll go right click and go under format cells. And then when I come, I want to go to the border. Let me go ahead and move this over here. Now for the line style, I'm going to have, I'm going to select this line style, the second to the last thickest. Uh, this is the thickest one here. I'm going to select this one. It's a little bit uh, not as thick as this one. The color automatic, it's automatically set at black. And what I want to do is I want to apply this line style and this color to the bottom here. So you see now that's selected. And you see that this is blue now. And I want to apply it to the right. So that's selected and that's blue. Now I want to come back and apply a white color. So I'm going to keep this one at the same style. For the color, I'm going to choose white. And then I'm going to apply it to the left here. You can see now that's selected. Now click over here and apply it to the top, and that's selected. You can see that the, the top here is selected here. Now next thing I want to do is go into the Fill tab. And what I'll do is I want to fill that color gray. So I'm going to select this gray color here. And I'll go ahead and click OK. And now we can see that this looks like a raised cell, like a 3D effect, like a raised button. What I'll do now is do the down one, the 3D one, that looks like it's pressed down. So I'll go ahead and click in that cell. And I can either do a right click and select format cell or I can press control one and then it will bring up the same format cell dialog box. What I want to do is go under border and make sure that this one is selected, this style, the automatic, it will be black. What I want to do is do the reverse now. I want to have the left border here black and also the top black. And now I want to go ahead and make the borders down here white. So keep the same style and then for the color, I'll make that white and then select the bottom as white. You see that selected, it's blue, and then select over here. That's going to be white here. That's, going to, that's selected there. Now I'm going to go into the fill tab here and select the same gray color, right? So select that gray color, click OK, and now we have the reverse of this one. This one looks like this is a button that's pressed down. So how to do it for blue? Uh, let's do, do an up, up and a blue. So I'll go ahead and select that. Control 1 to bring up the format cells. Let me move it over here. And the same thing here. Under border, I want to have this style selected. The color is automatic at black. I'll go ahead and select the bottom here and the right. And then with the same style and with a white color, I'm going to go ahead and select the left here and also select the top. In addition, if you don't want to select in here, you can also select these uh, commands here. That icon, it will select that. So I'll go ahead and have that selected. And then we'll go under fill and then have the fill a blue color. I'll select this blue, blue color, click OK, and now we have this nice blue color. Now, earlier I showed you that the styles showed up here. And what you can do is you can create a style. So what happens here is what I can do is I can add these to the styles here. You can see that the, the 3D up is already added. I'm going to go ahead and click on this 3D down and go ahead and add it to the cell style so I don't have to keep creating this again and again. Uh, it will automatically be here in the styles. And I'll go ahead and click that and then click new style. I'm already in cell G7 which is this one. So click new style. It will pick it up and I'll call it uh, 3D down. And it's picked up the, this picked up the different uh, attributes for that style. Click OK. And now if I go up here in the cell styles you'll see that it's there. Now if I wanted to add the blue one, I'm going to go ahead and let me go ahead and escape out of that. I'm going to select cell G9 where the blue style is, go under cell styles and go into new style and then I'll call this 3D up blue. All right, and click OK 
and now that's selected. So what this enables me to do is if in a worksheet I wanted to kind of have a style that I didn't have to go through those different steps to create the border and then the fill, I can just have the style up here saved and go into table here. Let's say I wanted to have the 3D up style, go ahead and click that and go click this 3D up style and it will apply it. If I didn't like it, I can go ahead and select it again and click on the cell style for this blue and then now it's kind of got a 3D effect that is in blue color. Now one thing to note is once you save these cell styles, these custom cell styles, they only apply for this specific workbook, this specific style. If you open up another workbook, those will not be there. But what you can do is you can go under, if you've saved it already as a template somewhere, you can go under cell styles and go under merge styles. And then you can just look for a, a style from the workbook where it's there and you can merge it into this particular workbook. But I won't do that here. I'll go ahead and cancel that. You should probably have that other workbook open. But uh, th it's pretty simple to create this, so it's not that hard. So you can create these particular 3D styles pretty effective and easily uh, for your particular workbook. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.